Yo, 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 what is up, Facebook and YouTube family? This is your girl, Stephanie, a.k.a. Edini has to stop it by. Currently here doing individual um, Zodiac reads, but I'm doing it um, for videos, uh, concentrating on the elements. Sorry, guys. Anyway, so we're on water signs. And we're going to start with cardinal signs as they initiate. They, you know, uh, have the idea. Then we're going to go into fixed signs. They're mutable. I mean, not mutable. The fixed signs, they um, manifest the idea that the cardinal signs put in place. They carry through the purpose of a season. And then we have the mutable energy, and they conclude and assimilate all of the information, all of the details, and put it into one form. They conclude the uh, season. So we're starting out with Cancer. Cancer is the cardinal water signs. The initiators. Let's see what messages come through for our Cancers. All right, so we have the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Wands. The Fool card, the Six of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Devil card, okay? So, pretty much have all energies out here. Except Sword. And then now we just got a Sword energy here. But you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Capricorn. I'm just going to go off um, Zodiac signs when I see maybe more than one or a major arcana. Mm, okay, well, the Sun card did come out with that um, double card, so it definitely could be representing a person, um, Capricorn to be exact, but uh, the lovers, lover's card also uh, came out in vicinity of that, and the lover's is Gemini, so you could be dealing with a Gemini, Gemini as well, but um, bottom of the deck is the seven of cups, and so you have a lot of options, I feel, around you, so you definitely need to work to tap into your higher self, to tap into your higher self. And so how does the higher self operate in love and in integrity? Um, it's going to be very key that you do things in the right way. You know, treat others the way you want to be treated. Because um, in doing so, you will have victory over the indecision that you had. You know, um, walking in love, the person... Um, is there a person that you're making a decision about? I think this is more, um, has more to do with an action that you're taking. An action in, in, in regards to your mission, to your destiny here on earth. On the magic that you come to bring. Okay, so underneath the, um, so we have the Eight of Pentacles, which is work, and then, you know, perfecting your skill, and then we have, the, it clarified the Knight of Cups, and Knight of Cups, for me, the Knights are movement, the Knights are also Scorpio energy, it's fixed energy, so you may be fixed and focused on your work, uh, maybe on some, on certain emotions, maybe kind of turning a situation over in your head over and over because there's some confusion here. Let's get clarity on the Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. I feel like there may be confusion in regards to maybe a, a lover's re lover relationship. So we have the Magician card. Perhaps there's someone around you that's being a little manipulative because we have the magician and then the page of wands. Um, 
what's cardinal fire energy uh, Aries so it could be some some feisty energy here that's the reason why the overall message is confusion maybe uh, some feisty energy going on around you let's get clarity on the six of wands and the two of swords six of wands two of swords Seven of Swords, some feisty energy, uh, some lies, some deceit. And that's the reason why you're confused. Like I said, because like I said before with the Magician card, it could be someone manipulative. Manipulating a situation could be Aries being uh, manipulative here. Um, but I feel like Spirit is saying, keep to yourself at this time. And that's how you're going to be victorious. Don't entertain this person and their energy because they're 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 not on the up and up i feel like there's someone around you that that isn't on the up and up and you need to walk away from them because they are sowing you know mental conflict they're sowing so much doubt into you look at that nine of wands you need to set up healthy boundaries um so that you won't be the victim and if you are have been a victim, stop playing a victim and reclaim your power. Reclaim your independence. That's how you're going to claim your power, by walking away from this person. You're going to not only claim your independence, but you will be successful. You will see how things just start to, to manifest and unfold for you when you get rid of the distractions, when you get rid of the people who aren't operating in their higher self as you are trying to, as you are. Metatron here with the Wheel of Fortune. It's time for you to walk in your higher self. Excuse me. To walk in your mission. To walk, to perfect your skill and what you've come here to do. Water signs, the key thing that you have to overcome is emotions. So this could be work in you taming your emotions and using them for good, truly understanding the power of, you know, the understanding that you have of emotions. You know, you may not know how powerful you are or how powerful that knowledge, that innate knowledge you have about emotion uh, is. A lot of people don't even know what to do with emotions, but you're so in tune with it. That, you know, maybe in the past you've used it in a manipulative way, not for the best, not, you know, in a caring and loving way that helped people to, to grow, you know. But now is the time for you to, 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 to walk in, in, in that understanding. And to be the loving person that you are here to be. To initiate that love. In an intelligent way, of course. I mean, don't just cast your pearls onto swine. So we've got the Page of Cups and the Page of Swords. Cancer and a Libra energy. So I feel like you've been bombarded, been being bombarded by this new idea of love. You've your understanding, your understanding has grown even deeper. You know. And you're having a breakthrough. And in this breakthrough, you're overcoming toxicity. The toxicity within you, the toxicity surrounding you, perhaps with certain people. You're being enlightened to the things that you need to walk away from.
So I feel like, honestly, you're being enlightened about someone around you that may have been um, very manipulative, uh, maybe someone discord and confusion, maybe lies and some deceit. And they're making you feel they're, you know, maybe chipping away at your self-esteem in a way because you are so ruled by your emotions. You may love this person so much that you're blind to the manipulations that they're doing because you're so blinded by emotions. There's just a lot of emotions here, but spirit wants you to ground yourself to no longer play the victim, to set up healthy boundaries, and to protect yourself. There's gonna be a burst of energy that comes to free you. A star card at the bottom of the deck to heal you to give you the confidence to walk away from this person and know that you can survive and be just as happy within yourself because you are the source of love. That love comes from within you. So stop wasting that love on outside people who don't appreciate it, who are lying, who are sneaky, who, are, who, who sows confusion like the devil. You're being awakened to those people. And in this awakening, there's a, a, a huge potential for you to gain a security that you've never felt within yourself and that you never felt within your emotions. It's time for you to take advantage of this gift because it's time for you to walk in your, in your mission, to walk in your uh, destiny, to walk in your purpose. Come on, to walk in your purpose because that's where you're going to have wish fulfillment. So spirit is working with you. Metatron is working with you. Working with you to heal the heartbreak, any heartbreak that you may have experienced in the past from playing the fool to these people who didn't mean you any any good. You're you're being that is being healed. You're under you're growing a deeper understanding of why you had to go through that. And the revelation, I feel like it's just going to hit you. There's going to be a sudden revelation, a sudden enlightenment. Because we have the tower here, which is quick. A sudden enlightenment. You're going to come to. Maybe you were under a spell. Maybe this person put a spell of confusion over you. Maybe they did some dark magic over you. But your ancestors are working on your behalf. And they're, they're going to show you. They're going to awaken that ass. And you're going to see this person for the devil they are. You're going to see this person for who they are. And you're going to find the strength to walk away and to be confident in being in your own energy. Ten toes down, just vibing, sexy, nine of pentacles energy, luxurious, single, and thriving. Okay? It's just going to be a new opportunity for you to be strong and to stand your ground. And not allow people to walk over you. Are over you anymore seeing them seeing the truth for what it really is because it's time for you to come out of you know an energy of depression come out of this en an energy of doubt all right so i believe that is the message for our cancers i'm gonna end it there um we're gonna go into the next sign which is what it's mutable energy Scorpio, no fixed. I keep mixing it up. All right, so on to uh, Scorpio. Stay tuned for the Oracle card uh, message at the end of the video. All right, see you soon. All right, family, we are into the fixed water sign energy. Fixed signs are to carry out the mer the the uh, mission. They carry through the purpose of the season. They carry through the purpose of the season. They persevere. So again, the cardinal signs, they come up with the idea. They initiate the, um, the action, the revolution, and 
big signs, they carry it out because they're able to focus on a goal and not be de- not deviate. That's why they are in in because everyone, you know, we're all part of the whole. We all work together uh, to bring about shared consciousness, the, the mission. All right, Scorpio. So we have Ace of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Eight of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Pentacles. All right. So Scorpio spirit is definitely wanting you to be grounded. Um. King of Pentacles represent mastery of mastery of the physical realm, um, being very secure within yourself, having the Midas touch, and that's who that's the energy that you're embodying. And we have the Ace of Wands. There's a burst of energy uh, bestowed to you by Spirit, a burst of energy, a burst of passion um, to take a leap of faith. Perhaps in your spiritual journey um, or just in love. And this could be taking a little bit of faith and walking away from a relationship as well, because I do see the moon card and the Eight of Cups. So I feel like there's a burst of energy or passion. Uh, maybe you feel like you've played the fool. And you're just ready to be in your own energy. And that's basically the, the, the idea that was in the cancer reading that you guys are carrying out. You, got, you have no qualms about walking away from a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? You're carrying out, you're doing the action. It's like, oh, you finna be manipulative? You finna do all this shit? Well, deuces, I'm about to peace out of here. I ain't gotta have concrete proof it's about trusting your intuition. Let's get more clarity on this uh, moon card, Eight of Cups. So you're manifesting, like I said, you're manifesting the strength to uh, walk away. They're the King of Pentacles coming out again because you know you that you that you, you that the H B uh, the H I C head in charge. You, you the H H I C. You know what I'm saying? And so you're not afraid of starting over. But what you're not going to do is allow somebody to play you. What you're not going to do is play the fool. And what your ancestors not going to do is allow somebody to play you either. They, they got the wrong one when, they come with, come to, when it comes to Scorpio. They got the wrong motherfucking one is what I'm seeing here, is what I'm feeling here. So you got no problems with moving on to calmer waters. Um, spirit wants to remind you to stay present in, in the moment, to stand your ground, seven of wands, on what you believe, what you feel within your heart. Follow your intuition. Again, follow your intuition. That, that subtle voice within, that inner child energy. That inner child may be crying out because they feel helpless and hopeless because someone may be around gaslighting you. You know one thing, but... They're act, you know, they say one thing, but their action does something else. Like, don't gaslight me. If you really love me, be about that. And if you're not going to be about that, then I'm going to go on a walk on away because ain't nobody got time for that. I'm not wasting no time. So ain't no confusion about me walk. I'm not confused about walking away from you. Because we have the Five of Pentacles, Two of Swords here. Like all this time I'm investing in you, I can invest in myself. So thank you for doing me a favor. Because this, this is the energy that all the other, other signs need. <laughs> that boss, that fire, water energy. Your services are no longer needed. Is what it is. <laughs> Is what I'm feeling. King of Swords. This is the mastery of the mental suit. You know, emotional intelligence. You know what I'm saying? You're not. 
you are unbothered. And if you're not, spirit wants you to be unbothered. Because ain't nobody got time to be playing games with people. Ain't nobody got time for no narcissists. Ain't nobody got time for gaslighters. If you love me, show me you love me. Don't say one thing and do another. There's, there's no balance in that. I don't operate well in, you know, imbalance. So I'm about to cut on up out of here. We got the Tempest card spirit in the background, whipping up the perfect potion to bring about happiness, um, to bring about wish fulfillment through the, the lies and deceit that may be going on within a relationship. Helping you to uh, put it into that, to find the strength, to put it into that so that you can clear out the distractions, heal that inner child, and to free yourself. All right, so that's what I'm getting for our Scorpio fam. Again, stay tuned for the Oracle read at the end. I will time stamp it. And until next time. What's up, family? We are now into the mutable energy, the mutable portion of the reading, which is Pisces. And so mutable energy, you conclude the uh, season. You conclude the idea. Again, cardinal um, signs, they initiate the revolution. They initiate and set the tone for the season. Fixed signs carry through the purpose of a season. And mutable signs conclude and assimilate a season. They conclude and assimilate all of the lessons learned. Okay, so Pisces, let's see what's up. Let's see what's up. All right, so we have the Ten of Wands, Seven of Swords, putting in to the lies and the deceit when it comes to do with yourself and your worth, and you know, putting into the lies and deceit of other people around you. Exactly. This is definitely a concluding and an assimilation of the energy of the past of the other two readings. No problem putting it into it, okay? It's like we've learned the lesson. We know our worth. Um, we're no longer allowing you to gaslight us, to, to say one thing and do another. No, we need your actions and your words to match. And if not, I'm going to go ahead and shoot you the duels. So, um, Ten of Wands, definitely releasing the burden. Clarified by the Nine of Cups, releasing the burden and experiencing wish fulfillment. You manifested it. You manifested yourself out of the confusion. Damn it. Oh. With love. I mean, you didn't have to be an asshole about it. <laughs> With the Knight of Cups here. You just tuned into your intuition. Um, you knew that there was something hidden. And I feel like your, your intuition picked up on what that was. Your intuition picked up on the confusion that was being sold by this person or a situation, family member, whatever. You know, your intuition sensed the, the lies and the deceit And it had you in the energy of depression at one point. Confused, not really knowing what to do. But after being in that energy for so long, he was like, yeah, no, we're not doing that. And then Ace of Wands, which is a surge of passion, a surge of energy. Your ships came in. Your spirit guys sent you that burst of energy that you needed to heal. 
and to take back your power and say, no, you will not treat me like this. And if you can't show me consistency, then there's the door. Walk on out. Walk on out of my life. Them boots was made for walking. So go ahead and bust that Yui and get on. Because you a liar, a cheater, a deceiver, heartbreak. And I won't let you back in my life. So I'm taking house, cars, the kids, and the dog. I want it all. You're nothing but. And so, you know, you're doing the work that you need to do without. It's, you know, Scorpio did it forcefully. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they fire water. And so they like, mm. woo, 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 What you not going to do with the woo? You know what I'm saying? They had the theatrics behind it. They had the idea. You know how someone has that new idea. They're real gung-ho and passionate, and they, you know, forceful with it. But Pisces, again, you are the, the conclusion, the assimilation of it, and so you're handling, handling it in a more... Um, calm, wisdom, experience type way, whether you're experienced or not. Because at the end of the day, Pisces, you're very intuitive, so you have that old soul energy. So you may have been through it in past lives, and some of that energy is still there. That's the reason why you're so wise. But again, you're handling, handling with ease. You're taking, um, taking the bumps as they come. You know, like, yeah. I was burdened with you at one point. You know, I, I, was, I was down and I was low with certain, the certain things that you did to, to make me feel less than. But I'm finding my happiness. I'm finding my joy. I am manifesting the love that I deserve within myself. The reason why you didn't give it to me or I allowed you not to give it to me is because I didn't find my worth within myself but now I'm doing the work to uncover that beautiful person to uncover my birthright and to state claim to what I I deserve I deserve my birthright I deserve to be happy I am worthy of the best and nothing is too good for me and so with that being said you can't give me that. You hadn't shown me that you've been able to give me that, so I'm gonna have to um, go on and, and and go about my day, go 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 about my day in my way. You know, I'm trusting my my intuition. I'm protecting my inner child from hurt. I am no longer that hopeless little helpless, hopeless little person. I can stand up for myself and speak up for myself, and I'm going to speak up for myself loud and proud. I'm tired of being in this energy of not knowing and of depression, and if you can't give me the security that I need, then I'm out. And, I, and it's not, I know you can't, so I'm going to go ahead. You had, a lot of, you had enough time to get things right. You didn't, so I'm going to peace out. I'm going to do the healing I need to do. And I'm going to find the clarity that I need so that I can live out my purpose. You were distracting me from my purpose. And one of my main purpose in incarnating, incarnating is to know myself. So I'm going to go on this journey to know myself. And it's going to be a lovely, beautiful journey full of bliss uh, your ancestors are truly happy for you, and they're just overflowing you with love. Because when you go within, then you tap into that never-ending source, the never-ending will of love. And anytime anything may throw you off, you can always come back to it. That's what that healing has done and will do. When you heal, it opens you up to that milk and honey to the land of milk and honey, you know, where you'll always be confident in love, where you're safe, where you know you're protected, where you take back your power, and you focus on being happy and joyful, surrounding yourself with 
that type of environment, whether it's within by yourself or within other with other people. But you want that reciprocation, you know, six of pentacles, exactly. You don't want unrequited love. You want that give and take. And so you're being honest with yourself and you're being honest with the people you've chosen. Can they give you that? And if not, you're making the necessary cuts and changes. Like our G. Not immature, not yelling and screaming. It, it just is what it is. I love you, but I'm going to love you from a distance from this point on. I wish you the best, but it's time to grow. Maybe we'll meet again down the line, but right now I just got to focus on me. All right, so we're going to go into the oracle portion of the video. Stay tuned. Hey, hey, family. We are here at the oracle portion of the video. And uh, I'm going to shuffle one more time. We'll do one of these. Do one more of these, and I'm going to pull from the top. So we have a blank card here. And so this blank card is basically saying the world is yours to create and to manifest as you will. You know, um, you're learning the lessons and... You know, there's really nothing you need to do right now except just sit and introspect of all the things that you've overcome, um, the, you know, the obstacles that you have overcome, or, you know, if you hadn't overcome them already, imagine yourself overcoming them, setting the intentions, your intentions to overcome and just being in this joyful and loving energy and just at peace. There's nothing to worry about. Know that spirit will take care of your needs and your wants. Spirit will guide you as long as you listen and are paying attention to the signs and synchronicities, listening to your intuition. You're being guided and that you're covered and everything is going to be okay. As long as you stay in a positive vibration and don't allow distractions in. The whole water sign, uh, most of the water sign, water element reads was about walking away from gaslighters and narcissists. And when you get rid of that, get rid of that, that was like a whole bunch of baggage and you're just free. Spirit just kind of wants you to rest in that freedom of not having that weight on your shoulders anymore. That's not your burden to carry. You got enough on your own and, you know, on your own plate when learning yourself and, you know, knowing thyself. So you're just going deeper into that. Um, I do see the skunk card, which was the bottom of the deck. I guess I will, I'll read that. All right, so the skunk card speaks message's reputation. It says skunk medicine. Go ahead and laugh. This furry little animal has a reputation that contains a great deal of power. Due to its, due to its distinctive behavior, humans give this tiny, smelly creature a wide berth. The key word here is respect. Unlike other predatory animals, skunk does not threaten your life but threatens your senses emotions right you know this to be true if you ever been in the vicinity of his spray in observing the nonchalance of this natural behavior the i dare you attitude of this four-legged creature commands you as the observer to respect its space by mere reputation alone and i feel like that's what a lot of the water signs are doing they're saying respect me Give me what I give you. Have this reciprocation here. If there's no uh, reciprocation, reciprocation in our interactions, in our in our interactions, I don't want it. And so you putting that boundary down 
is said in a, reputa a reputation of respect. Come correct or don't come at all. Skunk is teaching you that by walking your talk and respecting yourself, saying what you mean, meaning what you say, setting boundaries and not going back on them, you will create a position of strength and honored reputation. The courage of your body relates to others, what you believe about yourself. There's no need to bully, aggravate, torment, overpower other beings when your sense of self is intact. Exactly. With, as with skunk, the resonant field of energy around your body is relayed through the senses. Self-esteem permeates the body's energy and is instantly recognized on an extrasensory level by others. Self-esteem is recognized on an extrasensory level by others. So that if you're doing like the readings were saying, you're in this energy of self-esteem. You, you, you just vibrate high. It's just an aura, a glow. Nothing, nothing has to be said, done. You just need to be. Just be. And stand in your power. The carriage of your body relates to others, what you believe about yourself. There's no need to bully. I think I read that. Learn to assert without ego what you are. Respect follows. Your self-respectful attitude will, will repel those who are not of like mind and yet will attract those who choose the same pathway. As the odor of skunk attracts others of its kind, it repels those who will not respect its space. Skunk medicine people have the ability to attract others and they are very charismatic. At the same time, the other side of their natural power is to repel those who seek to take energy from them without recycling the gifts they have given. Exactly, their rep reciprocity. You know, being that reciprocal, that unrequited love. Exactly. Getting rid of those that is not replenishing us. Okay. We're repelling those who seek to take our energy without recycling the gifts they have taken. Skunk medicine people also know how to use the energy flows that will attract a lover. Some people call this sexual magic. It is akin to the musk scent that animals excrete to attract a mate. It can be dangerous to leak sexual energy if you are not looking for a mate. It puts you into a games condition that may feed your ego but not how others feel about you. If you are attracting others who have an interest in you and you are, in a sense, saying, I'm available. If you are attracting others who have an interest in you, you are, in a sense, saying, I am, I'm available. This can cause hard feelings when the truth comes out. It also leaks energy that you could have used in a more constructive way. I think I said that in one of the readings. In skunk medicine, it is good to learn how to handle energy flows. Handling the emotionals, the emotions, right? Modern psychologists call this body language. In tribal teachings, this is your personal medicine which you are showing to others. Use your medicine well and know that you are known by your reputation. How you use your energy will attract either honor or disgrace. You may want to examine what energy you are putting out that creates your present situation. If you have chosen this symbol, you're being asked to notice the kinds of people you, who are attracted to you. If they emulate favorable characteristic, characteristics, have enough self-esteem to recognize those traits within your... If they notice, if they emulate favorable characteristics, have enough, have enough self-esteem to recognize those... I guess they have enough self-esteem to recognize those traits within yourself. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> if they emulate favorable characteristics, the people that are surrounding you, if they emulate favorable characteristics, know and have enough self-esteem to recognize that you possess those same character traits within yourself or else you wouldn't have attracted them. My bad. A little hooked on phonics moment. Walk tall. Be proud of the accomplishments you've made. Bear in mind 
that what you believe about yourself is your ultimate protection. Project self-respect and the contrary message. Skunk medicine operating through the contrary or reverse position indicates that your self-esteem may seem to others as if you are putting on airs. Observe whether or not you are, you are excuse me, repelling others in your vicinity because of envy, jealousy, or projection of their low self-esteem. Examine your feelings. Be truthful with yourself. Write the situation by assuming the attitude of skunk, nonchalance. In assuming nonchalance, you are neutralizing the effect of leaking energy. So again, it says, whether, observe whether or not you are repelling others in your vicinity because of envy, jealousy, or a projection of their low self-esteem. Are you projecting someone else's low self-esteem? Have their jealousy and envy affected your emotions. It's time for you to be nonchalant towards them. Don't allow their leaking energy, leaking negative energy to affect your aura. Be nonchalant to it. It says in leak of leaking vital energy, you may be stinking up your environment. This is similar to dumping all of your woes on anyone who will listen. If you are doing this, it may be time to shut your mouth and go within. Don't leak onto other people. Don't allow people to leak onto you. And don't leak onto other, other people. That sounds kind of horrible, right? But that's kind of, it can, it can be that way if you're with these unwanted negative-ass emotions. Shit. You, all, you may also be leaking sex to sex the you may, you may also be leaking sexual energy and reposting the object of your interest. That person may be too shy to tell you to lay off. Look deeply at your self-image and how others are reacting to it. To balance the causes and effects of your actions and energy flows, you must decide or not you must decide whether or not you need to spray in the direction of others to repel their envy, greed, jealousy or over amorous tendencies. On the other hand, you need to always maintain your right to be. Self-respect is the key to all these situations, whereas ego is merely what you believe to be, believe yourself to be. I'm gonna read that one more time. To balance the causes and effects of your actions and energy flows, you must decide whether or not, you need to spray in the direction of others to repel their envy, greed, jealousy, or over amorous ten tendencies. And this is what you need to do to balance cause and effect. On the other hand, you need to always maintain your right to be. Self respect is the key. Okay. Skunk says, if your ego is not your amigo, you know it stinks. All right, so I'm going to allow y'all to come up with um, what other messages you may feel or get from that. I hope that helped in some way, shape, form, or fashion. I love you all, and until next time.